Latifa. We need to talk. Hey y'all, it's me Lauren, AKA Lo So Natural. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you aren't a current subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I promise you won't regret it. If you aren't familiar with who I am and what I talk about on my channel, I love talking about natural skincare, hygiene, fragrance, black owned businesses, and everything that feels good to my soul. So if I love it, I'm gonna talk to you about it because you might love it too. So I have another Arabian perfume unboxing slash first impression, first sniff. What do I think? I'm gonna let y'all know. If you're interested in seeing what fragrances I picked up, stay tuned. My first Arabian haul video was from this company. I'm gonna drop it on the screen, this website. Y'all, you cannot beat the deal. And it is taped up, packed up to perfection. Like I'm gonna have to use my keys to cut the tape. As y'all can see, I'm in the car. Y'all know how I do. I always say, I get stuff done when I can. And guess what? I can right now. So that is why I'm in the car. Bubba is asleep in the house with my parents right now. I went to church this morning and said, all right, we're going to go spend some more time with Gigi and G Poppy. Oh, Y'all. Vanilla McHale. I need that knife. I need that butcher knife right now. Y'all, if you aren't subscribed to Vanilla McHale's channel, go check her out. Me and her did a live together and we are in the works to do another one. Y'all, I finally, finally, finally got the box open. And so, I ordered one, two, three, four, five, six, seven perfumes. One is not for me, so six for myself. I do see I at least have a free gift. I see something that I did not order. And we'll get into that because why not? This is what they sent me. It says True Flower Black Orchid Perfume Spray. So, it's a perfume spray, perfumed spray by Preve Perfumes. So, I'm thinking it's more like aerosol. Yeah. So, shake well before use. And this is True Flower Black Orchid. So, I'm guessing it's going to be like a deep for Tom Ford's Black Orchid. That's what it smells like. I have the Black Orchid perfume oil, y'all. <gasps> that smells so good. And just like my perfume oil, this is 8.3 fluid ounces, 250 milliliters. That smells good. I don't have any feminine aerosol type body sprays so thank you for my free gift last time they sent me a whole free perfume so y'all go check out that website i didn't mention before well i did mention it in text on the screen the website is primarily in spanish so if you want the deals, you might have to put the text in Google Translate, or if you know Spanish, you're good. Me personally, I never took Spanish. I took Japanese in middle school and Chinese in high school. 
and that's all I'm gonna say about that okay I definitely know more Japanese than Chinese but barely because that was middle school all right y'all so I'm going to rip up some paper and we're going to get into these perfumes I think I want to start off with this one. This is by Mason Alhambra. This is Philos, Philos Rosso. This is an Eau de Parfum, 100 milliliters, 3.4 fluid ounces. Mason Alhambra is under La Tafa. Let's have Let's have Let's have is my girl. My girl. Y'all see? It has the Mason Alhambra sticker on it. Okay. Presentation for the Arabian fragrances always gives what it needs to give. Look at this, y'all. Do y'all see that? Y'all. Sometimes I don't mind doing videos in a car, even though, you know, it might not be 100% aesthetically giving, but the lighting is always going to give in the sun. Uh, y'all, it's like velvet. Y'all. I don't remember none of the scent notes. For most of, I'm not gonna say none. I don't remember most of the scent notes for a lot of these fragrances, so I'm gonna drop them on the screen and just tell y'all what I get. That was a good spray, oh. y'all. This is another Baccarat Rouge 540 dupe. To me, this is not the straight. This is like regular Baccarat Rouge 540. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Now I really have to do comparisons for my Baccarat Rouge dupes because this one, the scent. Oh my goodness. This one compared to the Baroque Rouge X straight is sweeter like it's definitely giving like a cotton candy note or something like you know Baccarat Rouge has that sweetness and it's coming through on this one but you 100% when I sprayed it in the air I didn't even have to put my nose up to this and I'm like this is a Baccarat Rouge 540 dupe I figured it probably was but I'm like, how many Baccarat Rouge 540 dupes can Mason Alhambra or La Tafa do and do well? Y'all, this, this is the one. I feel like This just has an extra little bit of sweetness in it. Like it 100% smells like Baccarat Rouge 540. Just like the sweetness is there to make it like feminine. 10 out of 10. Now I'm going to have to see, you know, how it performs. I definitely will do a comparison. But this, if you like Baccarat Rouge 540 and don't have Baccarat Rouge 540 money, this one, this is it. This is it. This is it. Now, which one do I want to go see next? I'm going to set this up here because we're going to come back to that for a reason. But I'm going to get into this fragrance because it is from the same line. This is the Philos or Philos Opus Noir. Y'all. 
my perfume collection is up there now like now that i have my arabian perfumes i feel like i'm set like i don't want any designer perfumes at the moment i would like to put my nose on some but no nah, i'm happy with my arabian perfumes because why i'm an arabian goddess this one y'all is the black for me it's giving luxury velvet y'all look at that mm. Let me rip another piece of paper y'all the sales that this website be having it's like the sale I participated in was a sale where all of them were $19.99, if I'm not mistaken. But she also has a sale where it's like you buy one fragrance, you get the other one 70% off. Y'all. Mmm. This is definitely a heavier scent. This would be great in the fall, in the winter, also at night. It has like a sultry, deep. At first I was like, is it pepper? Is it pepper patchouli? this i'm not going to say it smells like into the night but it's that type of vibe it's strong this one is 100 percent unisex it's deep do I like it? Yes. Is it my favorite perfume? No. This is something I will have to wear. So far out of the Arabian perfumes I purchased, this would be one of my least favorite ones. Though I am going to wear it. This is one I'm going to spray on me because we're going to see. Sometimes you just have to see how it is on your skin. This one is one of these strong along the lines of beast mode sense where it's like you only need to spray this a couple times because it's strong it's called apis noir like it's giving noir it's giving black it's giving dark so definitely a scent i would try and pull off at night and maybe before it gets hot this is a scent I would not wear in the heat, me personally. All right. I will give an overall ranking of my fragrances when I'm done. The next one I want to get into is... I'm going to do this one because we already had the Baccarat Rouge Top 40 group, so it's like I might as well do this one too. I got the Baroque Rouge 540. Y'all know I previously did my first impression on the Baroque Rouge Extrait. And y'all see I got another one because I got this poor somebody. So this one's not for me, but I do have this fragrance. So this is a dupe for Baccarat Rouge 540 Extrait. And this is a dupe for Baccarat Rouge 540. Because the straight one was so good, in my opinion, and it looks exactly the same, just white. I said, all right, I want Baroque Rouge 540. 
This is 100 milliliters, 3.4 fluid ounces. Also by Mason Alhambra, who is what? Under Latafa. look at that look at that all right let me rip up another little strip of paper oh, did that one ugly but oh well y'all the bottle is giving let's see i want to compare this to the philos rosso Mm, mm, mm. Mm, that smells so good. It smells so, 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 so good. I just want to compare and see. Baroque Rouge 540 and the Philos Rosso. Just trying to get this box back closed so I can keep it moving. Lord. All right. Okay. So, I'm feeling like they smell very much alike. But the Baroque Rouge 540, I think honestly, is probably a little stronger because it's heavily projecting off of this sheet of paper. And I'm getting it. I'm getting Baccarat Rouge 540. This one, I definitely smell it, but the Baroque Rouge just seems stronger. And I feel like from my first impression, when I first smelled the Philos, I feel like it just has a tinge of more sweetness. But my honest opinion is they both smell like Baccarat Rouge 540. But if you want one that is more beast mode, I would say Baroque Rouge 540. If you want one that's maybe a little bit more feminine maybe the Philos Rosso if you feel like Baccarat Rouge is you know too unisex and you want something just a little bit more feminine go that route I'm not going to open up the Baroque Rouge 540 because y'all can check out my first Arabian perfume haul but spoiler alert I love it all right, next up, we're going to do this one. I'm going to save the one I'm like most excited for for last. This one, I keep forgetting to show y'all my um, boxes in a plastic. This is Hot Lips by Emperor Metropolis. Emperperfumes.com made in the UAE. So this is also an Arabian fragrance. Okay. Emper. I'm not familiar with Emper. Like I'm very familiar with Latafa. Not Emper. So we're gonna see. This is a dupe for Bond number no. nine's Nolita. This bottle kind of has a little bit of black on it, but this box is nice. It has like black velvet, and I think that kind of rubbed off on the bottle. I ain't really tripping. It says Hot Lips. It does have a reminiscent bottle of Bond Number no. 9. Now, I can't say it's all about the juice for me, but Hot Lips, I don't know. It's giving kind of cheesy, in my opinion. I almost was like, do I want this because of the bottle? But 
I said, what the heck? I mean, don't get me wrong. It's a cute bottle. But ball number nines, no late. So it definitely looks more high end. Hot lips just kind of seems like cheesy. But it's about what it smells like. This is 3.4 fluid ounces, 100 milliliters. Mm. This is a citrusy floral. It's giving springtime for sure. This might have to be like my Easter fragrance. I've never smelled Bond Number no. Nine's Nolita, so I can't give a comparison. Do I like the fragrance? Yes. It's ultra feminine. By no means is this unisex. This, if you do not like fruity floral, you will not like this. If you don't like floral, this is not for you. This is pretty feminine, fruity, citrusy, floral. And it's not heavy. But that's what it is. So if you like those things, check out Hot Lips. Okay. By Metropolis. I really wanted the other scents. I'm trying to remember what they called it. It might have been like Green Valley something something or other. That's the one I really really wanted but they were sold out by the time I placed my order so I missed out on it. Oh well. I don't know which one of these I'm most excited for. I'm going to leave this one. I'm going to leave the other one for last. This is Jaffa is it Jaffa or Yaffa I'm thinking it's Jaffa and it's an auto parfum 100 milliliters 3.4 fluid ounces this is by Oza Ridge I'm going to take it out the plastic so y'all can see Oza Ridge Y'all, there was one particular note that stood out to me in this fragrance description when I was reading it. I think it was like cotton candy or something, if I remember correctly. This is what Jaffa looks like. This is definitely a cute, unique bottle. It's giving like Aztec. I love that you can see the juice, so I'll know how much I'm using. I love the top. I'm over here smelling Yara on my hand, y'all. Mm. I filmed my unboxing video for Yara before I started this one. And I'm like, what did I put on my hand that smells so good? Yara. Mm. Let's see what Miss Jaffa is hitting on. Mm. I can smell it in the air, the air. If you're from Baltimore, you know. Hmm. This one... This is a good fragrance. This is more of your, hmm. Because of how this one is composed, I feel like this could be somebody's signature scent because it's blended so well. It's not harsh, sharp. 
It smells good. It's sweet. It's giving fruity, but not like hot lips. Hot lips is like fruity, floral, dominant. This is like sweet. It's it's a smooth scent. It's pretty. Spring and summertime friendly. But I feel like this would perform well in cooler weather too. Because it's, again, it's not in your face floral. It's good. Like... This is more of a scent that's just, you can wear it whenever you want, really. This one is one of the ones that's like, whatever the occasion, you can pull her out. Okay, Jaffa. I'm so happy I got Jaffa. Yes. Does this remind me of any fragrance in my collection? Hmm. This doesn't remind me of anything in particular. But she's good. Jaffa is a yes for me. Especially if you don't like strong fragrances. Like I feel like this is going to be strong if you overspray it. Like it'll become strong. But just it's not a strong scent. It's not light though either. Like when it's just really good. It's not strong, like it's not going to give you a headache unless you maybe over, over spray it. I feel like Jaffa is just something I'm going to reach for a lot. Okay, I've talked about Jaffa enough, okay? I feel like I'm saying the same thing over and over, but I like, I like Jaffa. Yes, 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 yes. Last... But certainly, certainly, certainly not least is Kismet. Kismet is also by Mason Alhambra. Let's have a, This is Kismet for women. 3.4 fluid ounces, 100 milliliters, y'all. I wasn't sure if I wanted to save Jaffa or Kismet for less. But Kismet has a big box. So I said, all right, we're going to save Kismet for less. Because I feel like Kismet is going to give. And it's a Latafa fragrance. So, y'all, this box is giving like $100 per. Do y'all see that in the freaking silk? Y'all, my perfume got silk sheets. freaking set in sheets and you a perfume my perfume got nicer sheets than me what the world look at kismet kismet this is why i'm an arabian goddess like this is why this is why oh my god and it gets even more beautiful when you take her out look at y'all look uh, <sighs> kismet now you know you did not have to do all of that you're doing the most in the best way the best <sighs> lord let's offer we need to talk because at this point, I'm just going to be a Latafa rep. Like, don't talk to me if you're not Latafa. What? Kismet. I ain't even smelled Kismet yet. But we're about to. Y'all, top is heavy. This is heavy. Mm. It smells expensive. 
she's floral with maybe a little bit of like woods it's giving like woods or spice or something but it's feminine I feel like this gives Middle Eastern Arabian vibes. If you aren't into scents that have depth like woods and patchouli, like those deeper notes, you probably wouldn't like this fragrance. Like, this perfume has character. It is not like Jaffa. Like, Jaffa has character, but not in this way. This is like, notice me. I'm here. I have woods. I'm not afraid of a little zest in my fragrance. I'm grown. I'm not a kid. I'm not a child. I'm an Arabian goddess. And I need to smell like such. Do I like Kismet? Yes. Is it my favorite? No. Am I glad I got her? Yes. Do I have any fragrances like Kismet? Not off the top of my head. All right, I'm gonna put Kismet back in her rightful place on the throne. All right, I'm going to rank these perfumes that I just got from my least favorite to my favorite. I'm smelling that Philos Opus Noir. Now that it's dried on my skin. It's a mature scent. I feel like it's sultry and whatnot, but it's leaning mature to the matronly, not grandma, but like it's more leaning in that direction to me. Where it's like, I like it, but I probably will layer this with some stuff. I probably do like it on my skin more than I did on paper. Hmm. But from my first impression, less on my list would be Philos, Philos, Opus Noir. That would be my least favorite. Next to last would be probably Hot Lips. I like it. Just not number one. Then would probably be Kismet. Kismet is giving aesthetically everything I need. Scent wise, I like it. It's just not number one either. Then we'll probably be Philos, Philos, Rosso is giving Baccarat Rouge 540. It smells good. I just don't think it is as potent as Baroque Rouge 540. So that is why this is getting spot number three. Number two will go to, hmm. It's like, I wanna put the remaining fragrances at both number one and number two spots for different reasons. I'm gonna put Jaffa as number two. No, I'm changing my mind. I'm putting Baroque Rouge 540 as number two because 
I got Baroque Ruiz X straight. So it's like in my mind, like I know I, I really, really like this because it's like spot on for Baccarat Rouge 540. But I'm going to do it because it is hard to choose between these. So this is going to be number three. This is going to be number two. And Jaffa is going to be number one. Only because I feel like this is such a wearable fragrance. Any time, any event, any occasion. And it smells good. And I don't have that many fragrances in my collection. Like I have my Guamans. I have my sultry i have my night fragrances i have my day fragrances this is like i can wear whatever i want and it smells good so jaffa you get number one baby you're number one baby jaffa okay all right y'all i got through this video i'm glad i did it right now Thank you so much for watching. Please comment if any of these scents intrigued you. Let me know if you're interested in purchasing or if you have any questions regarding any of these fragrances. I am for sure going to do second impressions after I wear these fragrances. I've been doing really well keeping track of my thoughts of my previous Arabian fragrances in those second impressions will be coming to y'all very soon and then these will be coming after so be on the lookout for those please make sure you like comment subscribe and share if you want to join the lovelies tribe i would love to have you we are building a community of love and i was about to say realness okay all right we keeping it natural around these parts. Love you guys so much. Bye.